Hey guys, welcome back to the PORWC Gatorade Pro Series. I'm back from a hectic weekend. That's why I wasn't on the last two or three days to do anything, but we were back and this is the first race I'm doing. This is race number two of the season. We're here at the Rockingham Speedway or North Carolina or the Rock, whichever you want to call it. We're here for the Duralube 400. Had a great first race at Daytona where we saw Ken Long in the 14 edge out Rhett Yates on the high side in a great photo finish. Hopefully we have some more good racing to come. And what a front row we have today. At, like I said, I just want to bring it up. This is always done at random and it's happened to work out like this. Trent Dunham in the 28 and his buddy Seth Cole in the 43. You may know him for their other series, Trent the Hedgy in the 28 and then in an SCRA 43. So, well not the 43 at the end of his name, but Seth Cole who runs in an SCRA and Trent Dunham or a lot of you know as Trent the Hedgy are the top two of qualifiers, which is pretty amazing actually. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. We have a 40 lapper here, and I think the racing out here is actually pretty good. So just keep that in mind. And I'm also gonna say I'm probably gonna start messaging everybody the races like through uh, PM on here. So just check your inboxes a lot so you know about the races. If I don't send it to you, just let me know. If you don't want them, then also let me know. But that or I'll just post a bulletin, but you guys do the rest. But uh, we're going to get this race started. We've got a 40 lapper in hand. Drivers, ready to go. To your car. And they're already in their cars. Uh, person, shut up. So I'm glad to be back doing some races after a couple days off. Got a nice break as the field rolls by. Let's check out today's starting lineup for the Dura Loop 400. back from the starting grid. Trent Dunham, Seth Cole starting 1-2 and then you got Brody Banton, the 0-1 singular wireless dodge with Anthony McCurry up on the high side in 4th and then Zach Buchanan in 5th. So it should be a good race. 40 laps. Expect some 2-3 wide racing but it stays clean mostly until somebody gets together. Green flags out. We were racing here at the Rock. Trent Dunham will try to hurry and get around Seth Cole before he gets around the high side. This track is known to actually have good runs on the high side. Trent actually could not block him. Here comes Seth Coe back. They're going to battle hard to lead the first lap. Look how hard Seth Coe drives it in there. He's rim riding in. He's going to take the lead. And Trent's going to have to slide in behind him. And Seth Coe in the famous 43 is going to lead the first lap after starting second. I don't think Trent really wanted him to get the lead, but that high side is where you want to be. Here comes Alexander Dawson with bringing Zach Buchanan up there. Anthony McCurry is going to take third. Oh, Derek Walker back there trying to get around Michael Dawson, trying to make it three wide. Christopher Martin's all over Callum Wells back here outside the top 10. They're working their way up. The high side is where you want to be. I've had, I found some tracks lately that actually the high side has been working, so it's been interesting. Danny Wells popped up there with Dylan Kochi. And we got a battle for second. Ed McCurry tried to get around. Trent Dunham couldn't do it. McCurry's going to fall back into third. Trent Dunham trying to run back down Seth Cole. Looking in the back right now, there's Taylor Orndorff. He started in the back of this race as well, like last week, but he ended up with a great finish in the top five. We're trying to make a run back at it. Ooh, Sam Young and Sean Galligan almost got together. Galligan down there in the 26, Young in the 88. Cody Lawman right there in dead last right now. He doesn't want to stay there. Ooh, there's contact between Sam Young and, and uh, Sean Galligan. I about stuttered. I don't ever do that. Charles Jackson is over here battling last week's winner for the Daytona 500, Ken Long. She is trying to get some runs on the high side that helped her win last week. Ooh, Sean Galligan sliced back there. There's Red Bell. And there's Eric Burton who started, I think, dead last. Jason Marshall, Zach Carlson back there in the 33. We'll go up a little bit. James McLeod's about to get put in the middle in the 10 car. We're going back up a little bit. I was wanted to mention we have two new drivers in the series. And they're right actually right here. The new driver of the 93 is James King making his first start. So, this big, oh, we got a wreck. Oh, and there's Michael Cosby getting into Derek Walker. Oh, we got to have a pile up. Sean Henley's in it. There's a few Roush cars in there. Rhett Yates, Matt Wells, Taylor Orndorff's around, Cody Lamas. Eric Byrne got damaged. Ken Long last week's winner is in it. Sam Young might got a piece of it. Sean Gallagher maybe. Or Cody Lamas. Oh, and Red Bell stopped on the track. What happened to the five car? She is slow. She might have some damage. Zach Carlson, Jason Marshall. Oh, oh, what's going on here? 
He's probably getting stuck behind the pace car. Whoa, Rhett Yates, where are you going? There's Sean Henley. He's got damage. Matthew McMurray has damage. Whoa, look out. Oh, James McLeod just ran the back of Jackson Braun. I think they had another wreck up here. Maybe it's not. Brody Banta, it looks like he has damage. Michael Causey's got into Derek Walker to start. They're both damaged. Jack Richards, I don't think, does. Then we got cars just trying to figure out where they are. There's Aaron Williams and there's Connor Breeden. I was going to mention he's another new driver. He's in the 36 now, hopefully for the rest of the season. They comment. Keep that in mind, guys. If you're new to my series, you have to comment or you lose your ride. We're going up here. These cars made their own. Oh, Seth Cole has damage. Where did he get that left side damage on the 43? Somebody got into Seth Cole. We'll check that out, though. But we're under caution for the first time today. A multi car accident on the front straightaway. That started with Michael Cole in the 29 and Derek Walker in the 92. Let's check out what happened to bring out the first caution of the day. Seth Cole is your leader. All right, again, the high side, you get that run. And Derek Walker, I guess, thought he was clear of Causey. They get together. He's going to pin him in the wall. Walker, that is. Causey's going to turn him around. And this is not going to be good for Derek Walker. Rhett Yates gets into him. Here comes John Henley with Matthew McMurray getting a piece of it. Ken Long right there. Taylor Orndorff, Matt Wells. Eric, Eric Byrne got turned to the wall by Sam Young. Zach Carlson got a piece. There's Red Bell, Cody Lamas, Charles Jackson. Sam Young got hit by Sean Galligan. Those cars are wrecking. They're spinning out. It looks like mostly, I don't know who got the worst damage. Oh, Taylor Orndorff just hit. Rhett Yates, bad right there. There's your top two finishers. They're actually your top three. Taylor Orndorff also right there. 14, 97, 32. And then up here, Red Bell stopped. I want to figure out what happened to Seth Cole also. Did he already have that damage? I think he, no, he doesn't have it yet. Let's see what happened to Seth Cole. He's going to come around and take the caution flag. Did he bump into somebody? Oh, they're going to run up here on the rear end of the field it looks like. Oh, they're slow up here. Here comes Seth Cole. He comes up there with a full head of steam. They're looking for the pace car. These cars up here actually stop. But where, how did he get hit on the left side? We're about to find out. He slows down. Fast forward a little bit so we can figure it out. And Seth Cole. Ooh! Oh, and it's from Trent Dunham. Unintentional hit right there from the 28 car. Look how they slow up. Cody Lamas and Charles Jackson completely stop. Seth Cole goes to avoid his teammate. Trent Dunham went under already, smashed him in the door, so Trent Dunham has a little bit of fender damage. Got to keep that in mind on the the, cause, the two guys that started first and second. They're going to go around here. Are these cars going to go a lap down, it looks like? They possibly will. Seth's going to let them back by. That's what all that happened right there. We'll update if anybody dropped out of the race, and we'll see what happens to Seth Cole and Trent Dunham on the restart. This could be huge right here to be a big factor at the end of this race. We'll see what happens, but we'll be back after this for the restart. We are back, and Seth Cole and Trent Dunham are still on the track despite the damage. And everybody's still on the racetrack in that wreck, so we'll see what happens. Seth Cole is your leader, Trent Dunham second, Anthony McCurry third, Dylan Pochi fourth, Colin Wells fifth, Danny Wells sixth, Randy Carpenter seventh, Alexander Dawson eighth, Dylan Young ninth, and Liam Irving round out your top ten. Pace car is off. The Cheerios Dodge 43 of Seth Cole will lead him down. Right behind him is the Texaco Halfland 28 of Trent Dunham. We're racing here at Rockingham. Restart. Working lap number 11 of 40. And Trent Dunham's going to make a move on the inside, but I don't know if that's going to help. Here comes Anthony McCurry. He's going to go under him. Three wide, possibly, for the lead. And Dunham's trying to get a run, but he just cannot hold it. He has to let up for him. And McCurry's going to try to move to the high side. Trent's going to try to hang on. McCurry's going to actually force Trent up high, which is actually good for Trent. He's going to get some momentum back on Seth Cole. Let's make sure nothing happened. Instinct, though, for drivers want to go on the inside. It's usually the quickest way around, but not here today. Oh, Trent Dunham got hooked by Anthony McCurry. He's in the wall. Trent Dunham's wrecked. Oh, he's spinning back up on the track. Oh, the 28 just got turned by the 66. And he almost got hit right there. Wow, Trent Dunham. He's going to continue on. Doesn't look like there's a lot of damage on that car. Oh, and what happened to Brody Banta back here? He's he blown up or he's gotten wrecked it over there in the 01. Two weeks in a row, he had some problems. Is there more problems going Uh-oh, they're going to pile up here. They don't be careful. So we have two different issues right there between the 28 and the 01, but I don't know what happened right there. Anthony McCurry, yeah, there's, the 01 has damage. I think Brody Banta got wrecked. There was two wrecks on the same lap. I don't know what happened there, but Anthony McCurry got under him, and McCurry just turned the 28 of Trent Dunham. Dunham definitely not going to be happy with the 66 car. Oh, and there's Matthew McMurray on pit road. Must have been between the 9 and the 01. Matthew McMurray already been in a wreck, so that's not good. Brody Banta, this is two weeks in a row for him. Not a good start again. He was looking forward to this season, this 01 car. 
I mean, hopefully his teammate Jason Marshall does good in the 40, but Brody Banta looks like his day is done. Trent Dunham might continue on, but he's not at the front anymore, and we don't know how that car's going to handle now the rest of the race. He hit pretty hard in the wall. Seth Cole is your leader now, as we're under the caution for the second time, or he's still the leader, I should say. So let's check out see what happened to Brody Banta, Matt McMurray, and Trent Dunham. Now, actually, I was going to start watching from here, but just saw, oh, and Brody Banta's already in the grass. I didn't even rewind him back enough. We're going off this corner. Brody Banta gets hooked from behind by Derek Walker. He's going to go down and hit the pit road wall. He's going to keep it in the gas. I don't know why you would want to do that, but Brody Banta is going to ride the wall. Oh, and he's going to pop back up on the track. Yikes. He's going to slide up right in between, right, James McLeod just barely missed him, right between him and Matt McMurray. And Matthew McMurray had Matt Wells behind him, so he couldn't slow up, and so the 9 and the 01 just wrecked together. A lot of heavy damage to both the 9 and the 01. They're probably both done for the day. McMurray actually might have got hit again. No, he got stuck right there, so he might be back on the track. But Brody Vance's car is smoking heavily. Looks like he's done for the day. Not sure about Matthew McMurray. But let's go check out what happened to the car running in second place and third place at the time, Trent Dunham and Anthony McCurry. All right, so here we're looking here. Trent Dunham, he's starting to try to get a run on Seth Cole. McCurry actually gets a run on the inside of him. I keep an eye. I don't. Oh, he already got into him. He just ran into Trent Dunham. Trent's gonna get turned, and then Trent's gonna go for a ride into the wall. Just bounces off a bit. McCurry keeps going. But somebody almost hits him right here. Watch this. I think it's Zach Carlson. He's gonna back it up. I think he does. Oh, it was scouting close. It looks closer on the other camera. But Trent's gonna keep going. We'll go ride right on board and see what happened and see what he saw. On board with Trent Dunham in the 28. This takes just a slight amount of contact to turn somebody here. And we just saw Trent Dunham qualified on the pole. He was looking forward to this race. Very confident on the radio. Now, the car is destroyed. A lot of front end damage on Trent Dunham's car. We'll see how he is and the rest of the cars. But we'll be ready for the restart after this. Seth Cole is your leader, so we'll be back after this commercial break. All right, we're back from the restart. And look here, Matthew Murray and Brody Banter dropped out of the race. It's broken valve in the old one car in the nine had too much damage. And Trent Dunham's still in the race. He's in 40th place. He's going to need to catch a lot of breaks today to get any position or anything. Because he's not going to gain anything if he's back there with the damaged car. We're back under green. Seth Cole is your leader. But here comes Dylan Pote in the 22. He finally worked his way up here. He must have got around Anthony McCurry before the caution flag. And McCurry's back to third. There's Callum Wells up to fourth. Danny Wells is now fifth. Liam Murray's already trying to get the high side going. Trying to clear Randy Carpenter, who was trying to get around him to begin with. He does. Alexander Dawson, he had a violent wreck last week at Daytona. He's up there in the sixth spot in the 18 car. He's running well. And there's Trent Dunham back here. He might be up to speed, but I'm not sure. We'll see how he does. We'll update him constantly. There's Charles Jackson. He had a violent wreck last week up there. He's actually back in the 38th position. He's looking to try to get back up toward the front. There's Taylor Orndorff and Red Bell. They were involved in the wreck earlier on from first caution. They're trying to get the high side working. Zach Carlson and Eric Burton teammates right there for Andy Petrie Racing. Ken Long has a lot of damage, but she or yeah, she's still moving up. Trying around Ryan Duke. Ooh, Jackson Braun. They're going to go three wide here in the corner. Keith Batson, he had a great run last week. He's trying to get up there. He has some damage on this McDonald's board. Oh, we got a wreck. Taylor Orndorff just got turned by Red Bell. And the caution's out. Orndorff's going to hit the inside wall. Slightly. He should be all right, but him and Red Bell just hooked each other. I believe that's all that happened. But back to the yellow flag. The caution is out for the third time. Connor Breen went way up the track. And Seth Cole is still the leader in the 43. That car, despite that damage on the left side in the door part of the car, he has still managed to hang on to this lead. That 43 car is... The real deal today, as they're going to take the caution here, they're going to cross the line, take the halfway point here under caution. So this race is halfway over, so they're going to start making some moves. They're slowing up right here, I don't know why, but uh, the yellow flag is out for the third time today for Taylor Orndorff and his spin with, that involved Red Bell in the five. Orndorff finished third last week, I believe, at Daytona. He's looking at some better runs, and I, I don't know if I'm not sure if he's third. I'm starting to second guess myself, but I believe, I'm pretty sure he finished in the top five. Seth Cole is your leader here at, as we're under caution for the third time today. Let's check out what happened to Taylor Orndorff. That it also involved Red Bell. Alright, we're going into the corner here. Taylor Orndorff is on the bottom. Here comes Red Bell. I check the speed difference. 142 versus 150. So, Red Bell definitely had the momentum. And Taylor comes up. 
and Red Bell's already gotten to the outside of his tide rod, and they just get together. Red Bell gets a little bit of some right side damage, and look at Sean Gallagher and Sam Young avoid that great driving by them, and Taylor can come down and hit that wall again. He already got a little bit of damage, and then he backed it up just a little bit, but that car should be fine. Still plenty of racing to go, and Red Bell is obviously still going, so that's what happened to bring out the third caution today. Pretty simple little spin out. And we'll be ready for the restart. Seth Cole is still your leader. We're back once again. Ready for the restart. Here we're, we're going to be finishing lap 23. We'll start working lap 24. And your top 10 is Seth Cole, Dylan Pote, Andy McCurry, Callum Wells, Danny Wells. No relation between those, by the way. Alexander Dawson, Liam Irving, Randy Carpenter, Michael Dawson, and Dylan Young is your top 10. Pace cars off. Seth Cole take him back down to the green flag. Dodge, Dodge, Ford. Chevy Ford, the top 10, the first Pontiac in six. Looks like Dylan Pote is trying to set Seth Cole up for a little bit. He's going to get to the inside, but that high side is where you want to be. Seth Cole is like almost impossible to pass right now. Go back a little bit outside the top 10. Here comes Pete Chu London having a great run in that 21 car. He's up to 11th place. Zach Buchanan is in 12th. There's Joseph Bryant and Aaron Williams battling for 13th and 14th. There is uh, Ricky Hawking 15th. Christopher Martin 16th. Connor Green 17th. James King, the two new drivers, are there 17th and 18th. Luke Walker trying to hang on to 19th from Jack Richards, who's in 20th. And you got Derek Walker, 21st. Brett Yates, 22nd. Sean Henley, 23rd. James McLeod, 24th. Matt Wells, 25th. Ryan Juke, 26th. Michael Cosby, 27th. Eric Burton, 28th. Jason Marshall, 29th. Ken Long, 30th. Sam Young, 31st. Oh, we got a car on the wall. It is Keith Batson, who just rode the wall. He's going to drop him back. Oh, look at oh, there's Trent Dunham. I didn't know what he went. There's Taylor Orndorff for that Carlson. There's Keith Batson. We got a lot of damage now to that. 96 car. He's back there with his teammate, Taylor Orndorff. They're 40th and 39th. Cody Lamas, Red Bell, Sean Galligan again, Charles Jackson. Jackson runs where I got stopped too, but there's the rest of the field. And we got a battle for the lead heating up. Here comes Dylan Pote, but he's taking the bottom lane. It's not going to work. He's trying to move into a higher lane, like the middle lane. Seth Cole has that rim riding lane, the Dale Jr. line working. And he got that 43 car. Hanlon very nicely today. He's led, I think, every lap so far. Where he's trying to close in on his first win. It, even though this is only the second start in the series, it'd be a big boost right there to get a win this early in the season. Seth was involved in wrecks last week. I don't remember where he finished, but I know he wants to recover from last week. I believe everything else is still going well. He looks through the field a little bit. A couple of Roush cards right here. Brett Yates in 22nd, Sean Henley 23rd. They're involved in that first wreck. They're just trying to work their way up. There's James McLeod. He has a little bit of front end damage. There's Ryan Duke. His car is actually pretty, uh, pretty clean in that 77 car. Jason Marshall and Matt Wells are battling for 26th place. Go up a little bit. And Zach Buchanan is trying to make a move on Randy Carpenter for 11. Nothing to avail right there. Michael Dawson trying to hang on to that 10th place. Good run for him. He was a he was everybody's favorite guy pushing it last week at Daytona. He got a good top 10 last week, but he wants to try to get a win this week. But he can't be pushing people here because there's going to be a lot of people mad at him here, unlike Daytona. And we'll go up here again. And I think like Danny Well did drop some spots. He was fifth on the restart. He's back to eighth. Alexander Dawson was sixth. He's back to ninth. I think everybody else moved up. Pichu Lundgren's a car on the move. He was 11th, I think, on the restart. And he's up to seventh. He's behind the three and the eight. I guess Liam Irving and Dylan Young together. There's Kyle Wells. He's quietly up in fourth. And Anthony Curry is trying to make a move on Dylan Pote for second. Except Cole is pulling away. But here comes Liam Irving under Kyle Wells for the fourth position. But here comes Dylan Young. He's going to take the high side and follow the four. We have Smoke. Oh, Ken Long is wrecked. Keith Batson, Sam Young, Christopher Martin, Taylor Orndorff. Zach Carlson has damage. Oh, we got to watch out back here. Yikes. we got to slow down. Caution's out for the fourth time today. Seth Cole. Still the leader. Keith Batson has a lot of damage to that 96 car. He was already in trouble from hitting the wall, and he must have got collected. Oh, Jack Richards was in it. Didn't know he was in the wreck. Sam Young backed in the wall, or backed in up to something. Ken Long has some front end damage. Her fender is gone, as well as Jack Richards. There's Keith Batson. Sam Young, there's Christopher Martin. He has some damage to the right side. So, oh my goodness, look out. I don't know if any of these other cars were involved. Some of these have already been in wrecks. Christopher Martin's catching up to the field. He was... I don't know where he was. And then... Trent Dunham has more damage, I think, to the back. I think Taylor Orndorff just gave him a tap. Taylor has damage on the hood now. Zach Carlson's car... 
heavy for any damage. The, the hood's actually been bent up on that Oakwood car. Oakwood Holmes car, I should say. But, uh, the caution is off for the fourth time today. Seth Cole is your leader, and we will check to see what happened to bring out the fourth caution of the day. Now, this actually happened near the front. Christopher Martin, last time by, was 16th. So it's up there near the top of the running order. Christopher Martin's gonna come up here and Luke Walker, huge run on the high side in the two car, but he didn't let up. They get together. Luke Walker's gonna continue on. Jack Richards just trying to avoid Christopher Martin, can't go anywhere. They're gonna hit, and here comes the rest of the field. There was Rhett Yates sneaking by, Sean Henley, James McLeod, and others. The first car's gonna get hit. Charles Jackson nearly avoids Ken Long, got hit. There goes Sam Young. Then they're going to wreck up here. Sam Young coming back into the wall. Oh, they're all trying to avoid. I don't think anything else happened. Somebody's going to hit. Oh, Trent Dunham barely missed his teammate. Zach Carlson, not so much. Taylor Orndorff. I think Keith Bass is going to hit him right there, yeah. That's what happened right there to those cars. That was a tough break. Jack Richards was running up near the front. So was Christopher Martin. And that didn't work out at all. Just hard racing for Christopher Martin right there, racing Luke Walker, who continued on. He's actually 17th now. But uh, the caution's out once again. And Seth Cole is still, like I said, your leader. We've set up for under 10 laps to go, so this could be a shootout right here. See if Seth Cole can hang on and go wire to wire. Stay tuned after this commercial break. We'll be back for the restart, and we'll update cars that might be out of the race or not. All right, we're back, and when we go back around, we'll have a five-lap shootout to determine the winner today of the Dura Loop 400. Also wanted to note that under the yellow flag, Taylor Orndorff's car, 32 car, had started smoking, and he had dropped out of the race from a gearbox, uh, gearbox issue. Keith Batson dropped out of the race, Ken Long, she dropped out of the race, and Jack Richards did as well. They finished 37th through 40th. Join Brody Banta and Matthew McMurray, who are also out of the race. Zach Carlson still in the race from the wreck. Somehow, I think they took the hood off and he's good, but the green flag is out for Seth Cole, who got a great jump on Dylan Pote. Five laps to go here at Rockingham. And Seth Cole is going to try to run away from this and try to beat Dylan Pote, Andy McCurry, and others. Try to get his first win to join Ken Long on the win list. I know it just started, but it will become something big hopefully soon. That's uh, Seth Cole, that 43 car, like we already documented, he got hit in the door under the caution from Trent Dunham, but it didn't affect his car and he just stays up front, that clean air. Where you want to be. You got that good run on the high side, take the lead on the initial start with Trent Dunham on the bottom. And we got a caution. I believe this race just ended. Sam Young wrecked, Michael Causey is wrecked. They're the only two I see involved. And I believe this race is going to be over. They're going to take the caution. They're going to come to the line. It'll be three laps to go. And I believe Seth Cole is your winner now. I don't think they're going to get this cleaned up in the matter of time before this race is supposed to be over when they reach the distance. So we'll be back to check out. If Seth Cole has won this or not, if we have one more restart, but we'll check out what happened to bring out the fifth caution of the day and possibly the final one. Stay tuned for the replay. All right, we're going in the corner here, and Sam Young is actually holding up some cars. He can go up high a little bit. It looks like the same situation as Trent Dunham, his teammate, and Anthony McCurry earlier. Eric Burns going to hook Sam Young right there, but this time Sam Young is going to come way back up the track. There goes Cody Lamas by. Michael Causey, not so lucky in the 29. Oh, that was a hard impact for the 29 and the 88. Michael Causey had nowhere to go. He's already had a rough day in the 29 car. He was looking to get his momentum changed from Daytona. Had a, just a rough start to this race. Tried to salvage what he could. He's done, looks like. This race is basically over, though. And Sam Young, his bad day continued. He was involved in a few wrecks today. Just couldn't get the luck to stay away from it. Just got turned right there by Eric Burden in the 55. But uh, that's what happened there. That's why well, the fifth caution's out. We'll be back for the restart, possibly, or maybe the end of the race. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. And we are back from the commercial break, and we are on lap 40 of 40. The white flag's already been displayed, and this race is over. We're going to finish under caution, and Seth Cole is going to go wire to wire and lead every lap, starting from second place. And Seth Cole is going to take the win today here at Rockingham. He will win his first race, Dylan Pochi second, Anthony McCurry third, Callum Wells fourth, Dylan Young fifth. Peachy London 6th, Liam Irving 7th, Danny Wells 8th, Alexander and Dawson 9th, and Michael Dawson 10th. As they come across to the line, Seth Cole will win the Dura Loop 400 today here at Rockingham. Race 2 belongs to the 43 team. Back to victory lane. And this race is now going to be official as everybody goes by. Waiting for the results to finish. Okay, we're going to do that. Alright, it was 
fairly up ahead, but the race is now officially over. And I wanted to document that Sam Young and Michael Causey dropped out of the race from that wreck, obviously. So, But Seth Cole is your winner. They congrats to Seth Cole and the whole Cheerios. Head Enterprise 43 Dodge Team. And I already documented the top 10. Randy Carpenter finished 11th. Joseph Bryant 12th. Zach Buchanan 13th. Ricky Hawk 14th. Aaron Williams 15th. Connor Breen in his first start 16th. Luke Walker 17th. Uh, James King 18th in his first start. Both good runs for those two new drivers, Breeden and Kings, who I'm documenting. Derek Walker 9th, and I know I said document a lot. I never say that word. I'm trying to sound smart. <laughs> and Christopher Martin is 20th. That is your top 20, and here's the rest of the field. A lot of these guys are involved in wrecks, but still hung on to get some top 25-ish finishes, like Brett Yates, John Hindley, James McLeod. They were in wrecks early. Matt Wells, Ryan Duke, Jason Marshall, Jackson Braun, Sean Galligan, Charles Jackson, Red Bell, your top 30. And then you got Trent Dunham, who finished 31st. Couldn't really recover that much. He just came, he just gained position from cars that wrecked or dropped out of the race. So not much of a good day for Trent Dunham. I was just looking for a higher day or higher finishing day. Eric Burden finished 32nd after being involved in that last wreck. Cody Lamas and Zach Carlson finished one lap down. I'm not really sure what happened to the 44 while he went a lap down, but the 33 had damage, but not really sure. Sam Young, Michael Causey, Taylor Orndorff, Keith Batson, Ken Long, last week's winner, Jack Richards, Brody Banta, and Matthew McMurray are the card that dropped out of today's race. But there's your results from today's race for race two of the PRWC Gatorade Pro Series, and Seth Cole is your winner. And now we are going to go and look at the point standings after race two of 23. So race two is in the books, and we are be we will be getting ready for race number three at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Who's going to get lucky there that next week? We'll find out though. But we'll be running for the UAW Daimler Chrysler 400, race three. So that should be a good one. It'll be a 27 lapper, and the point stays now. And your points leader is Seth Cohen, the 43, that when catapulted him all the way up to first. Michael Dawson, I believe, is the only car to finish the top ten in both in both races. Already down to that. So he's second. Dylan Pochi's third. Brett Yates is fourth. Derek Walker fifth. Liam Irving sixth. Anthony McCurry seventh. Ricky Hawk eighth. PG London ninth. And Matt Wells rounds out your top ten in the points. You see down 11th through 20th. Luke Walker, Aaron Williams, Dylan Young, Danny Wells, John Henley, Ken Long dropped to 16th after finishing really bad after winning Daytona. Randy Carpenter. Taylor Orndorff also dropped pretty bad. Um, and then we got Red Bell. And Cal Melcher, top 20. And then the rest of your points you will see right here. Make sure to comment, like I said, 21st through 40th in points. Just see where you are. You already look down there. Connor Breen, James King, they're 38, 39th. But remember, they are only racing their first race. And tough break for that other driver that used to drive 93. He was actually the top five in points, but we're going to drop that right there. But Connor Breen... James King are definitely still in the fight for the championship despite missing a race. They can pull Kevin Harvick from 2001. Coincidentally, this series car set is 2001. And then there's the rest of your points. Just ignore that one. But there you go. It's early still. Two races in. Don't worry about it. Just make sure to comment, guys. And all that good stuff. And if you guys are I'm probably still going to try to send the video to everybody. Just make sure I'll try to make sure I have everybody as a contact. You might need to subscribe or try to add me as a contact, and I'll do the same if I don't. And if you're not getting the videos, let me know. And like I said earlier, if you don't want the videos in your inbox, then just find them. Then just let me know, and I won't send you the video. But uh, it was a great race. It's a lot better than what happened when I tried this the first time. It was going to be a bore fest. So I'm kind of glad they kind of spiced it up a little bit. But uh, I'll see you guys at Las Vegas for race three. And congrats one last time to Seth Cole and the whole 43 team. I'm picking up the win at Rockingham. So stay tuned then for other series of mine to come in the future. So I will see you guys at Las Vegas for race three. <laughs>